So John Keir, you've named uh, a 20 man squad for the Castleford game, some experienced players, some new players and some younger players as well, just tell us your thoughts behind the selection process. Yeah, well what we want to do is see where we're at with regard to our physical conditioning, we want to see how well we're progressing with our structure and organisation and obviously we're throwing uh, the gauntlet out to some younger players to prove themselves and obviously I think the fans will want to see some of the more experienced players make the debut. I mean, you know, when, when you've got your Greg Johnsons and Anthony England's going to put a bull shirt on for the first time, Adam Rooks, who we've got from the Hulkingston Rovers, he's there. We've got young young Shaki, who'll be coming on as a as a half somewhere along the game. Sam Smith, who's had a great pre-season up to now and earns his place there. And obviously, we've got Sam Barlow. So, the six players there who are making the debut, so they'll be very excited. Uh, for Christmas and for making the debut and I'll be really excited for those two reasons as well. It'll be a hungry performance, a lot of players with a point to prove, you know, they want to start pre-season off right and, you know, really look to nail down that jersey. Yeah, well, well I can tell you they have started pre-season off right, I mean we've had seven weeks now, so uh, they're seven weeks into it and it's been a tough old seven weeks, believe you me, and I think it's just nice for them to get on the field to play and, and actually do what they really enjoy doing, which is playing rugby league. So I, I, I'm really looking forward to the end result of this first seven weeks. They'll be given a programme between Christmas and New Year just to keep themselves topped up to make sure they don't get too much Christmas pudding, you know, put much, much weight on so that we can come back sort of still in, in an advanced stage of, of training and just finish off the rest of our pre-season programme in January. It's a chance for the players to play at Super League ground against a Super League team. Some really quality players in that Castleford team. You know, it should spur them on that a little bit more and it'll be a good acid test for you. Very much so, yeah. I mean, Daryl Powell's he's named a real strong team. You know, there's, uh, there's Greg Eden, there's James Clare, uh, they've got Callum Turner, I rate highly, he'll, he'll be uh, strutting his stuff. Matau Tia, uh, they'll have young Richardson as well. Then there's Grant Millington. So yeah, there's there's some good players who are going to be playing against us. So it'll be, it will be a great benchmark for us. And for the Bradford fans, we're making a trip over on Boxing Day. Obviously, the last game was Rochdale away. They really packed out the stadium and brought the noise in. What will it mean for you to be walking out of the tunnel and seeing that red, amber, and black? Yeah, well, we we need, we need them with us basically, and it, it, this is the first step really of our journey. As I say, we've had seven weeks of steps, but this is the first step that they can visibly see us go out there in our new kit, which I think is a Bobby Dazzler, by the way, and then obviously come along and, and support us and uh, you know for, for us to make our money out of the game which is obviously part of the, the reason for playing it uh, the, the fans need to get down to the shop and buy the tickets from the uh, from the Bulls office because that way we know full well we can monitor as well how many tickets we've sold etc etc and get our just reward for what we're doing which is turning out a very very strong team on Boxing Day where people have obviously out there everybody enjoys the Christmas but obviously this is the icing on the cake for me going outside to watch a good rugby league game at 11am on Boxing Day. And the games are coming thick and fast after Castle does Huns at Leeds, Dewsbury and then York and then we're into the season. So it's yeah, well, time. it is exciting times. I mean, the Hunslet game, you'll see everybody who doesn't play in this game will play in the, the Hunslet game. And then obviously we'll monitor what we're doing in, in the, the other three games. But uh, we'll make sure that we, we turn up to round one, which is obviously the vital one against London, prepped and uh, all ready to go.